Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome back to NG Beauty. I know I haven't posted on this channel for a long time, but I'm back now with another video on makeup for all you busy moms. I understand your pain. I'm a mommy myself. Have two beautiful kids. Uh, one is five years old and the other one is one and a half years old. Majority of my work happens when the kids are sleeping, but I do have a house help which I'm really, really grateful for. And just because of her, I'm able to take out at least few hours every day, uh, excluding weekends. A big shout out to the lady. Coming to the video, I will show you how you can do your eye makeup and that too very, very quick using just an eye palette. Yes, just an eye palette. You don't need those fancy hundred different brushes. Although I use them very often and I love using them, but today we are not going to touch them. And by the end, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. So without further ado, let's get into it. And I'm shooting this video in the night. Of course, the kids are sleeping. On my face, I have sunscreen from the daytime. I used Cetaphil Hydrating Daily Facial Moisturizer with sunscreen SPF 50 plus. Meant for all skin types, non-comedogenic, non-irritating and fragrance free. Also, I have my brows done from the morning and that's it. Since this video is for the eye makeup, I'll do rest of my face off camera. So, okay, so starting with a primer, I'm going to use here um, Urban Decay Eyeshadow Eye Shadow Primer Potion which is in the shade Aiden. With primers, you don't need a lot, just a tad bit and that's it. This much is good. So I'm just going to blend it with my finger. This is not exactly my shade because I bought it online and I got the wrong shade. The next thing we'll do is use a concealer. I'm using here uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer and this is in the shade Pure Bay. And I think this much is fine. Next I'm going to take a beauty blender and start blending it. I'm using here High Definition Finishing Powder Mineral Based and this is in the shade Natural Beige 220. Lightly taking the product, tap off any excess, just putting it onto the lid. Doing the same on the other side. Yep. So now the eyelids are prepped and we are going to straight away dive into the colors. It's called Sugar Trip Squad Palette. If you look at the packaging, you look at the back of it, you have all you have all the shade, you know, identified by numbers. So today I will be working with the shades 5, 8 and 10, which is a peach, deep brown and gold. So your fingers are make sure there is no moisture, no water, otherwise the colors would be really hard to blend. Uh, what I'm going to do now is pick these colors on Three fingers because I'm going because I'll be working with three different shades. The gold shade here. Then I'll take I'll take the peachy shade over here on this finger, and I'm going to take the brown shade, deep brown shade on this one. So you see, this is how. I'm, so that's how. I'm going to do the same thing on the other hand. So like this. Yep, I'm going to work with both my right hand, right hand and the left hand together, like together. Also, it is easier that way and also the blending comes out very even. Start with the inner corner, put the color and just blend it. You can just look in the mirror and the cane. I don't know if you can see. Next, I'm going to work with the dark shade and start with the outer corner. This time, I would keep my eyes open so I know I'm not going too high above my crease. So, let me just do one and this one. And then I will just keep blending it with both my fingers.
Yeah. If there are any mistakes, you know, any spills, don't worry about it. We will correct it all later. And the last thing we will do is work with the peachy shade in the center of the lens. So this one just goes here. Both fingers can work together. You can look later as a... You can keep checking. You can do like a check if it's going well. Both, are, both colors are placed correctly. Yeah, and then you can just keep blending them. You see how my fingers are moving like if I move the right the left moves automatically like I'm doing the circle motion it's not it, it, it it's not difficult at all yeah let's see how it has come out look at it really it's not blended as of now but uh, but just keep blending it and you know eventually it will reach a stage you won't be seeing any harsh lines so I'll just use fingers the same fingers with the same colors I think I need a little more gold so I'm just going to dip my ring fingers in the gold shade yep, and I'm just going to add it in the inner corner And I need more peach in the center, so I'm going to a little more peach in the center, and this time I'm just going to tap it. Yeah, and then you can just look and blend the entire thing. Blend this part a little more where I feel it's, it looks a little patchy over here. Yeah. Okay. I think most of it is done. Now what I'm going to do is check it if it has come out well or no. Best way to do that is check it on your phone. Take a picture of yourself with eyes closed and you would see if it if the shadow is perfect or no. So I'm just going to take a picture me with eyes open, eyes closed, one side shot, another side shot, and then let's compare. I think it's come out pretty well. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. I think. Okay. I I think I need to blend the gold and the peach a little more. So I want to add. So I'll take a little more gold and just go in. Okay, I'll be lining my eyes but I'm not going to do a liner on top. Instead, I'll be using the soft wax pencil just in the waterline, on the top waterline. And the way, the best way to do it, it might look funny on camera, but the best way to do it is just keep it here and close your eyes and just take it back and forth. Next, I'll apply mascara. I'm using here YSL The Shock Volumizing Mascara. The one I'm using is a sample from Sephora. I've used it so many times. Still, it has a lot of product in it. 
and it's a beautiful mascara it just makes my lashes longer and just using it okay the bottom lashes we'll do later after completing the whole face and yeah Now I'll do my face off camera and be back. So I'm back after I completed my rest of my face and did my hair and you see how easy and quick it was. It took me longer today because I was talking and I was doing my makeup as well but otherwise it doesn't take me more than two to three minutes just to complete the eye area. Best part about this is you're working with both your hands and you're saving a lot of time. So let me know if it was helpful and you want to see more such videos and don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, stay tuned, stay beautiful.